Both 2020 and 2021 have been a hell of a ride for most of us, with the global pandemic messing with our financial and holiday plans, like a Turkish ice cream store owner messing with a kid. <laughs> While I can't help you out with your holiday plans, I can provide you with some pointers and guidance towards the different areas of your financial planning and preparing yourself financially in 2022, which is what this video is all about. Without further ado, let's get started. Insure now before COVID-19 makes you uninsurable. Now, I understand that insurance is not a very sexy or exciting topic to talk about, but it is one of the key foundations when it comes to our financial planning. Long story short, Insurance is all about covering our asses against unexpected situations and limiting our downside risk before we go and explore other areas of our financial planning, such as your investments and retirement planning. Now, with the recent introduction of the Omicron variant, for those who have been pushing and delaying with your insurance planning, it's about damn time that you look into it now rather than after contracting the virus. Because let's be real, unfortunately, Contracting the virus is not a very rare occurrence these days. And the reason why I'm asking you to get yourself insured or get your insurance planning done up as soon as possible is because insurance is something that you buy with your health and you pay using cash. When you are perfectly healthy, you get to choose what insurance companies you would like to be insured with depending on which insurance company is the most value for money at that current point in time. But the moment you have a pre-existing condition, that bargaining power completely shifts to the insurance company as the question now becomes which insurance company is willing to insure you given that you now carry a higher risk and higher probability of filing for a claim in the future. Now even if an insurance company is willing to insure you, chances are is that you will be penalized for contracting the virus or having some form of pre-existing condition. The penalty may come in the form of having to pay for a higher price or getting your condition excluded or both, right? So while you're still healthy and your medical record is still clean, go and settle your insurance first and transfer the unwanted downside risk away to the insurance company as soon as possible. The plus side of doing so is also the fact that you get to lock in your insurance cost at a lower age of entry today rather than a few years down the road because your age is only going to increase and not decrease. So get your insurance settled as soon as possible instead of procrastinating. Do it! Just do it! Watch out for higher inflation. The threat of persistently higher inf inflation has grown. The test that we've articulated, I think, clearly has been met now. Inflation has run well above 2% for long enough. The word transitory has different meanings to different people. It's probably a good time to retire that, that uh, word and try to explain more clearly what we mean. Yes, inflation is real. And yes, it can hurt you in other ways that you do not want to get hurt. In my previous video, we've looked at why the inflation rate is rising and whether or not it will increase further into the future. If you've not watched the video, please go and watch it after finishing this video. The link will be in the description below. Long story short, you can expect the current inflation situation to persist for a longer period of time and that is bad for us as it reduces our purchasing power of our savings and at the same time it increases the difficulty of us ever achieving our future financial goals. For example, if inflation is at 3% a year and the interest that you are receiving from your savings account is at 1% a year, Effectively, you are suffering a loss of about negative 1.92% a year on the purchasing power of your savings today, right? In other words, if we have about $100,000 in savings today, while that $100,000 in savings will grow to about $110,000 in about 10 years time, effectively, the $110,000 that you have in 10 years time can only purchase around $82,000 worth of goods today. As a result, in a rising and high inflation rate environment, we will need to work harder and save more as compared to a low inflation rate environment as the worth and the purchasing power of our savings deteriorates over time. The only way we can combat the effects of inflation is to invest. 
Unfortunately for us today, we don't really have a choice but to invest, take on more risk to chase after a higher return just to be able to preserve our wealth and preserve our purchasing power. If we do not invest, we will suffer from a loss in our purchasing power thanks to inflation. Now, just because we must take on more risk doesn't mean you should do it blindly. And to prepare yourself financially for 2022, you need to understand the type of risk that you can afford to take on and strike a balance between your short term and your long term needs. All of this requires you to have a clear grasp of your current financial situation and your financial plan, which is something that you need to investigate if you have not done so. Be careful with loans and refinancing. For those who currently have liabilities or will be taking on future liabilities such as housing mortgages, you need to be very careful when it comes to choosing between the fixed and floating rate loan packages, especially if you are thinking of refinancing your loans. Given that inflation is currently trending upwards and is expected to stay high for a fair amount of time, the next thing that will increase is your interest rates. For those who are new to personal finance, I've already done an explainer video on interest rates here, which I highly recommend you to watch it to get a good grasp of how external forces beyond our control will affect our personal finances. Once again, the link will be in the description below. Long story short, in a rising interest rate environment, the cost of borrowing will increase and this will affect future borrowers who are choosing between a fixed rate loan arrangement like your HDB loan or a floating rate loan arrangement like the bank loan. In times of a rising interest rate environment, it may make more sense for you to prioritize a fixed rate loan arrangement as opposed to a floating rate loan arrangement as there may be a good to fair chance that you'll be paying a higher interest rate on your floating rate loan arrangement as compared to your fixed rate loan arrangement given the current environment that we are in. For those who are on a bank loan and thinking of refinancing their loan, you might want to do so as soon as possible depending on your views on the current interest rate environment. For those who are currently on the HDB loan, you might want to think twice before refinancing into a bank loan as that is a one-way street, right? You can refinance to a bank loan, but you cannot refinance back to a HDB loan. Now, I've also covered a video on my views on the interest rates expectations in 2022 here. Once again, the links will be in the description below. If you're leveraging to invest, you might want to look into the sensitivity of the portfolio returns given a percentage change in the interest rate to see if that arrangement still makes sense moving forward to prevent going tits up where the interest rate does increase. Summary. Well, there you have it. These are the three key pointers to help you prepare yourself financially for 2022. To recap, number one, if you have not settled your insurances, please go and get yourself insured before you become potentially uninsurable due to pre-existing conditions, especially in a time where COVID-19 is floating around. Number two, watch out for higher inflation and be aware that in a high inflation rate environment, our purchasing power decreases. In times like this, you need to start investing to preserve your wealth, but don't just jump into it blindly, right? Review your current financial situation and your financial plans to ensure that you're taking on the right amount of risk. And number three, watch out for higher interest rates and be careful when selecting your loan packages. In times of a rising interest rate environment, a fixed rate loan package may make more sense and leveraging to invest will make less of a sense given the rising cost of borrowing. So that's all I have for this video today. If you found my content useful, please do drop me a like and subscribe to this channel to be updated with the weekly upload. Also, comment in the comment section as to what topics would you like me to explain and voice my opinion on next. If you'd like to find out more about how you can leverage on my experiences and benefit from my financial planning services, you can find out more details on my website or reach out to me on LinkedIn. Now, all the links will be in the description below. Stay safe and I hope to hear from you soon.